It is another somewhat sunny day and we are off because today is the day that I complete on the sale of the apartment. Woohoo! So we're just going around there now to take all the meter readings and then drop the keys off at the estate agents. And then my apartment sold! Crazy! And on another very, very exciting note, considering I share all the crappy parts of being an entrepreneur, I thought I'd also share the good parts of being an entrepreneur. Like, when you actually do cool things with the success you've created. And so, do you remember the other day I was saying how we went to test drive a car? Are you waving at? Sam. Oh, it's Sam. Mm. We went to test drive a car. Well, we actually decided to go for it and we get to pick it up today. I'm so excited, I'm like first. It's so exciting because it's been on my dream board for a really long time and I, it, I'm just so excited to, and it's really cool to think that it's actually happening and that I've managed to get myself into into a position where I can make my dreams come true. So I'm very excited about that and excited to take you with me for the adventure. So first apartment, let's complete on that and then let's go and pick up the new car. So we just completed on the apartment, handed in the keys, it's all gone, goodbye apartment. So now we're having a celebratory breakfast at this lovely cafe that Kelly picked out. It's very nice. Just finished a delicious breakfast. Celebratory breakfast being sold officially so my apartment has been sold. It's no longer mine. I am no longer the owner. Um, and so now we are going to go pick up the car. Oh, how very exciting. I feel like this is the power of having a dream board where you can see every single day the things you want to achieve, the experiences that you want to have, the things you want to buy. And I think it's really important because I think that's almost what drives us to want to succeed. Well, to be fair, for me it's more about the fulfillment comes from the difference and the impact that you make um, as opposed to the material things that you buy. However, I do think they're still important to, you know, if there's something that you like and something that you want to have, I think it's important to get clear on it. I think it's important to write it down and to stick it on your dream board and make it intentional that you are going to have that thing because I think it will help you to drive forward and to look forward to achieving a level of success so that you can then experience that. Like I know every time I'll get in that car and drive it that I will, you know, it'll make me think about all everything that I've achieved and everything I've done and it'll be so exciting. It'll be the feeling of success and all that stuff. You know, this is the funny thing. You see this key ring that I've had? I've had this for 10 years probably now. And I've carried it on every key, for every set of car keys I've had. And today I'm going to get my actual, very own, real key ring that's going to get on my keys. Not this battered one. Um, I feel like that is the power of dreaming. We all should dream big and go for it and believe that we can actually make it happen and that we can have the things that we desire. I think it's so important. You only live once, you might as well. Get really clear on it all. So dream big everyone. We should all dream big. Here's the baby. So excited. I have had some amazing calls this evening. One of them was with Sari, Sarah, Sari, Sarah, talking about the copy for the emails that are going out for the book launch, which was really helpful. Um, trying to figure out how I can write better copy for my emails, basically. <laughs> um, but it's really eye-opening. And then I had a call with Michelle Simmons, which I absolutely bloody loved. Um, we ha I've had um, like. The calls with her since 2015 now and it's really cool because she's like just like a reading and then um, we did a meditation and we talked about angels and it was just really nice because you know sometimes you just you've got so many goals and you so many things you want to achieve and you're stressing yourself out and you're putting pressure on yourself to be doing doing stuff and doing stuff and doing stuff and you get so wrapped up in it and so 
it was just nice to have that call with her and just for her to enable me to step back into a trust that everything will work out and we'll be okay. It's so nice to have that. That's why I love having sessions like that or having readings or having success like mindset sessions. Um, they, I find it really, really helpful. And on a really exciting note, my podcast got accepted on iTunes. Woo! Here it is. So I just realised that these episodes are a bit off and that we need to upload some other ones. So um, hopefully Kerry's going to help get that set up and then we can go live with it and I'm just currently writing out the email so so I've written out this copy and um, I'm gonna put it into Infusionsoft now and get this out now this evening to um, announce the podcast because I'm supposed to be launching them on a Thursday every Thursday so I guess as it's Thursday today I ought to get this out right now rather than leaving it any later I feel like the saving grace about being in the UK is, even though it's like half past nine at night now for me, in the US, which is where the majority of my owners come from, it's the middle of the day. So I'm actually not that late. I'm not too far behind. So I'm glad about that. I'm the state of my hair right now. So I have had, yes, a a, a long evening of calls. Oh, I've taken my glass away already. Um, but I did have a glass of pink champagne to celebrate the sale of my apartment today and the purchase of a lovely new car, which is very exciting. And um, it was really funny because I was sat there on my call with Sarah and Ari with like my pink champagne, <laughs> drinking it while we were talking about coffee, which was made the call even more fun, um, <laughs> which was nice. <laughs> Gonna add a little champagne in the mix sometime and celebrate. Um, I feel like it's important. We have to celebrate our, our wins. We need to dream big. Um, and you know, today just as a reminder for me of that, like it's so important to dream big and for us to have like goals and aspirations and things we want to experience and achieve. Like, like that's what life is about. We're having fun and dreaming big. So we just need to do it. Dream big. Decide what you want. Stick it on your vision board and make it happen. Oh.